Okay. <clears throat> finishing up this class, and I'm so glad I'm finishing up this class because the workload is super duper heavy. And so I'm probably going to complain a little bit about this class. Um, it's not only this class. There's two others I have taken. Same problem. Uh, extremely heavy workload. Um, they could actually divide this class, as well as the other two, into probably at least two classes. Maybe even three. Maybe even three classes they could divide because of the heavy workload that goes on with it. Now, if you're someone who has a job, that's a problem. If you got a family, that's also a problem. And if you're taking more than one class, that's also a problem. It's such a heavy workload. And uh, I'm not only complaining here, I have also um, complained every time there's uh, the end of the uh, class survey. Uh, for those classes, I have, uh, which will be the third one now, uh, I have said that it's an extremely heavy workload. It's too heavy. Uh, it, I've taken more than three classes at Phoenix Seminary, but um, these, I've taken three, and this is the third one that has an extremely heavy workload. So uh, by comparison, by, by the amount of time we're in the class and the credit that you're given, this is extreme, these are extremely high workloads. This is too, too, too heavy. Uh, so that's my complaint. All right, I'll just give it out there. So here we go. Let's start with the, how the class is kind of set up. Uh, it's set up with three, three different categories. You've got uh, the grading system is uh, based on quizzes from your reading. Uh, also, there are going to be papers uh, that you have to write, and then there's going to be exams that you also have to take. Now, the reading. You've got to read this book. Well, maybe not the entire book. Okay, so maybe I'm making it sound worse than it is. But you've got, you've got to read from this guy. You've also got to read from this guy. And of course, the Bible itself. Now for your art uh, or for your papers, they come from articles. You have five articles that you have to read and review and then two uh, short papers that you have to write in addition to that. Total of seven. I put in these little protectors. Okay. Nice, of course, SBO format. Uh, all right, there's that. Your exams. What are, they, what are they based off of? They're based off of all this. All this. One packet. Two packet. Three packet. Four packet. Five packet. Six packet. Seven packet. Eight packet. Nine packet. 10 packet, 11 packet, 12 packet, 13 packet, and 14 packet. You notice they're all stapled. There's not a single one that's single page. There's not even a single one that's two pages or what have you. Each packet, multiple pages. Now, <clears throat> this is where your quizzes come from. Articles right, is where your papers come from, and this is where your exams come from, okay? So the material that is covered in the quizzes is not the same material as the articles or the exam, and that can be said no matter how you want to interchange it. What you read for these articles will not help you with all the with all the quizzes. They also will not help you with the exam. And what you have to read for everything here in these packets for the two exams, mid and final, um, have nothing to do with what you've written about or what you've read here or here. And that's a problem. Because this is a lot of reading. Some of these articles are quite long and take up an enormous amount of time. 
Uh, let's see, one of the papers we had to read came, came from comparing the Epic of Gilgamesh to Deuteronomy 30 and Proverbs 30 in regard to life and death. Not too much to compare. Uh, it was only a five-page paper, but you had to read the entire Epic of Gilgamesh, not just the portions to where Gilgamesh finds uh, our biblical Noah equivalent. Uh, you had to read what happened before that, what happened after that. You have to read the entire epic, and not only in um, one version. you got to read it uh, from the, what, the Neo-Assyrians and the Neo-Babylonians. and Okay, so anyways, <clears throat> and then, of course, you just, you know, you got to read Deuteronomy 30 again and Proverbs 30 again, what have you. But, uh, so anyways, but that won't help you in your exams. That won't help you in your quizzes either. So you've got three different sections, which honestly, like I said, you could you could just take this guy out. Because this, by the way, deals with ancient Israel's neighbors. Doesn't deal with actually what's in here. I mean, this paper did two chapters, Deuteronomy 30 and Proverbs 30, but the rest are reviews that talk about parallelism in the Proverbs and what the Egyptian the Egyptians were doing with their poetry and what have you uh, and their wisdom literature the wisdom literature of, um, of Egypt and all that and you can kind of have your own class for that uh, you don't really need to incorporate in here because there's al already quite enough work to do, especially for one two-credit class. Keep that in mind. So let's see. This class covers the historical wisdom literature and the, uh, let's see, that's pretty much it, right? The historical and wisdom literature of the Old Testament. So... We are going to start with Joshua. We're going to start at Joshua. And we're going to end after we have read the Song of Songs or the Song of Solomon, whichever version you choose to read. <clears throat> there. So you've got to read quite a bit of Bible. Now, it may not look like a huge chunk, but let me tell you something. You start at page <clears throat> 282, and you finish at 866. 282, 866. Bible read. Kingdom of Priests, you start at page... 110 and finish at 527 additional 400 pages for you survey of the old testament hill and walton you start out at page 204 and you finish at page 479 the least of the three is over a couple hundred pages. And that's just for the eight quizzes. Eight quizzes. You know how long it takes to read all that? Then you've got the articles that you have to read and then write, right? Uh, some of these articles are uh, 28 pages, 30 pages. I think one was maybe 40 pages long. Uh, of course, all single space. It's not typed SPL format. Uh, double spaced, I mean. So, um, and then you've got to condense some of these articles into two to three page reviews. That takes some time as well. Uh, so, like I said, that this portion, you know, and since it's not really reflective too much on these two categories, this kind of could be its own, its own class, its own, uh, you know, maybe you want to start a class on um, uh, ancient Israel's neighbors or something, you know, the 
historical cultural world of the ancient Near East. Maybe that would be a good class for it. Uh, then you've got these this uh, pretty hefty uh, group of packets that is for the exams, the midterm and the final exam. Uh, it's quite a bit of reading as well. Okay, again, for a two-credit class, that's my gripe. And yes, I am married. I do have uh, two jobs, actually, and uh, it's kind of hard, uh, you know. And I had taken the uh, the other two classes um, with uh, multiple classes, and I was going to work still, okay. I only had one job at the time, uh, but the other job part-time. But um, anywho, quite a bit. But I'm thankful that it's over. For this class and um, that's pretty much all I want to say about that because if someone else were to see this they might think that it's too negative or this that and the other but the seminary I'm going to as you know you've seen the other videos Phoenix Seminary wonderful seminary I just have a gripe on these Old Testament survey classes because they are all designed the same way. And you could easily divide each class into multiple classes. Uh, and it's such a heavy workload for a two credit, two credit hour. That's it. That's ridiculous in my opinion. Uh, they have since, um, and I'm not the only one that thought it was ridiculous. Apparently a lot of people did also years prior to me going. And so they have now um, somehow consolidated the classes to normal three credit classes. Thank God. And so, um, but again, I don't know. How's the workload? Is it even more? Is it, is it less? I, I, I know the professor was talking about taking some stuff out. He wasn't going to be able to uh, keep at least one of the assignments, one of the papers in, which by the way, he kept it in for us, right? Okay. But uh, so I still had to do it. Um, I'm not, and I'm not saying you don't learn anything, but my goodness, um, it is almost overkill. So uh, as much as I have beaten this dead horse is as much as the workload is for a two credit class. Anyways, um, I don't know if it's worse now with the three credit or, or uh, not as bad. I'm hoping it's not as bad. Uh, but thank, thank the Lord I don't have to do this anymore. Um, so I'm done with this portion of it, I should say. And uh, so that's all I had to say. So uh, be forewarned if you want to uh, join. It is not, um, it is not easy. It's, it's, uh, it is very challenging. It's very time consuming if you are going to read every single page that you are supposed to read very time consuming um, and it, especially if you have other classes like I said anything in addition to this you're gonna have to time manage very well unless you're such a good speed reader then by all means it's probably not that bad but um, uh, if you have a family that you like and you want to spend time with um, you're gonna have to make time for them and if you have a job that that job likes for you to be there, uh, you're going to have to go to that job. And if you're taking other classes, uh, God help you if you're taking another class that's just as demanding. Um, with the other two classes that I've taken uh, with the same system and format, uh, same professor, love you, but heavy workload, too heavy. Um, I had also had, uh, I, I, I was taking other classes. I, it wasn't the only class I was taking. And yeah, my, my grade showed it. And uh, I was also working. And again, my grade showed it. I passed the classes, but still, um, man, it is really not designed for working adult, I guess, heads of families. Uh, I don't know how else to explain it. If you're single, you live at home with mommy still, you're going to have a much easier time. Okay, anyways, um, you don't have to like what I said, but it's true.
may you be blessed and be a blessing to others. Uh, this video is over, so I'll talk to you later. God bless you.